What's going on Guardians? This is Corman here bringing you another Destiny 2 video. There are spoiler warnings for this. This is the final quest step for the last word. So for my loadout, I'm going to be using my trusty Bygones, Nation of Beasts, and Whisper of the Worm. With that, let's get started. Once you load in, you go ahead and just move forward. There'll be a few small ads to take care of. Just go ahead and clear this opening room. Once you have all the enemies cleared, you just move to the back side, and that'll begin the encounter. Now what I chose to do was to go to this front left side. You can see that the tomb ship drops them off right there at the bottom. Try to focus on the knight and kill him before he heads up that ramp. Once you clear out these ways of enemies, there will be a few that spawn through that black door in the back. Just go ahead and focus fire on those. There'll be two big enemies to deal with. One is this wizard and the other will be a giant ogre off to the left side. Continue to use that rock and that lip as cover, and then go ahead and just take out the ogre with your heavy. Now it's not necessary to be using Whisper of the Worm. You can use any heavy in this really. I would recommend an LMG, or even Warcliffe coil, or any kind of cluster rocket. So you go ahead and deposit that, and that'll open up to the next room. Once you enter this room, you'll see that there are three wizards here. You just shoot them to get their attention, and it begins the encounter. You will only fight one wizard at a time. I stuck with the left side of the room. It seemed like it was the easiest area to control. Just be mindful that the first wizard does come to the left. It's important to note that each wizard will receive one wave of enemies that spawn as you begin to fight them. Now that the first wizard has been taken care of, the next one will leave that group, and it usually goes to the back of the room. So I would suggest go ahead and clearing the wave of enemies that spawn before worrying about that wizard. As you can see, they mostly came to the left, which made them easy to manage. A small group of them did stay to the back where the wizard went to. So I went ahead and I cleared them before focusing on the wizard. As you can see, it falls back into that back cave. And then we'll just go off to that right side. Once you get it at about half health, the next wave of enemies spawn, and that does appear to be the enemies for the next wizard. If you've taken it out, go ahead and move back to the large crystal that's in the center of the room. 
Now the third and final wizard has become vulnerable. As you can see, I missed most of my shots. Since it is only one wizard and there's no group of enemies to focus on, is why I would suggest using a cluster rocket or an LMG. Once you've taken it out, you can see that the overshield of the crystal has been removed. You can't ignore these thrall, or you can go ahead and just take them out as I did. And all you do is shoot the crystal. Once the crystal is gone, you'll see that the opening in the floor, you go ahead and just drop down. Once you arrive here, you just stand on this platform. And once it reaches 100%, you'll see that the weapon is spawned. And all you do is shoot it in the gun before it can shoot you. Anywhere else, it is immune. Once you've defeated it, a small wave of enemies will appear. You just take them out and then begin to move forward. Once you've cleared all the enemies, you see that the next plate has activated. And all you do is stand on it just like the first one. You'll see that two of them have spawned. Pay attention to the order that in which they appeared, because that is the order in which you'll need to shoot them. Again, just shooting them in the gut. Once you've defeated them, the next wave of enemies will spawn. I do believe you have to take them all out in order for the next plate to activate. All you do is move forward through this corridor. And just like the second plate, you just move up to activate and pay attention to the way they spawn in. Because that's the order in which you'll need to shoot them. You just shoot them in the gun one last time. And that is how you do the final quest step for the last word.